Hi, I'm Mark Levin, and welcome to another edition of Bad Celebrity Poetry. And yes, I am currently jamming to Christopher Cross's Ride Like the Wind. So, let's ride like the wind. Okay, anyhow, uh, without further ado, um, on Bad Celebrity Poetry this week I decided to do Bad Celebrity Prose because, frankly, I don't own that much celebrity poetry. I don't really want to buy any. So um, I figured I would go with what I already own in my possession. So I'm, I've decided to do Bad Celebrity Prose instead. Now, today's selection is written by Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken, you know from uh, American Idol. He didn't win that year. He came in second place. But obviously, second place was good enough so that he thought he had some li literary gifts. So let's go into uh, Clay Aiken's uh, biography here. It's called Learning to Sing by Clay Aiken. I think I've said Clay Aiken like 14 times, but uh, that's no matter. Anyhow, uh, let's let's go into, um, let's see. Well, let's look randomly into the table of contents. Uh, I'm sure he has some interesting themes here. Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't, nothing stands out. It, it really looks like a bunch of boredom. All right, well, let's go randomly into uh, one of the chapters here. Uh, okay, this is called Chapter 2, Decide What Song You Want to Sing. All right. I'm a mama's boy. When I was three years old, my mother lifted me from the tub, and I kicked the edge. I started crying, and she said, It will get well before you're married. Wait a minute, so this, this guy has to wait till he's married for his pain to subside? It's not really good uh, parental uh, comfort there. Uh, you know, he has to wait. I mean, I don't know what a kid's uh, um, idea of time is, but I, I'm sure, it, you know, married, I, I don't know if it seems far off, but anyhow, it wasn't good. Okay, it wasn't good. Okay, but anyhow, let's go on. Um, I wasn't sure what married was, so I asked. She replied that a wife was someone who would cook for me and wash my clothes and love me. And I said to her, I'm already married. Mom laughed and said, to whom? And I said, you, Mama. What kind of book is this? Is this like a Fifty Shades of Grey or something? Well, I mean, it's a little bizarre. What kind of a relationship does he have with his mother? Is she going to start bathing him nakedly? Uh, my piano teacher, Sarah Powell, was in her early 40s, and we had lessons at her house. I hated the piano. I was a poor student. So after about two months of banging on the keys, Mom said, why don't we see if we can get her to teach voice? Well, I mean, he was banging on the keys for two months. I mean, she didn't teach him anything about playing the piano. But I, I'm bored with Clay Aiken's story, frankly. It's, it's a little dull, like he is. And I, I'd rather not uh, continue to read any more of that. Okay, so let's go on. This book is called William Shatner's Tech Lords. Now, you all know William Shatner from the classic Star Trek. I was a big fan of Star Trek. But now let's see if he can match his success on TV with any literary gifts. Uh, let's start from the beginning, okay? Friday, May 16th, 2020. Was gray and rainfilled. He was. He didn't say it was gray. Wait, he left off a pronoun here? He left off a, uh, he didn't say it was. It just says was gray and rainfilled across most of greater Los Angeles. Unless it's a style, he says like a bad grammarian or something. It was not going to be an especially good day for Jake Cardigan. Jake Cardigan, what a stupid name. I mean, Named after a sweater? What was the, you know, J uh, Jake Hoodie? I mean, what, what was, is that the backup? I don't, I don't really get it. At a little before 10 in the morning, he landed his air car on the ground level visitor's lot next to the Oceanside Educational Academy in the Santa Monica sector of GLA. There was a sharp wind blowing across the choppy Pacific. <laughs> Way to set the scene, Shatner. I really feel the choppy wind and the, the sharp wind and the choppy Pacific. The academy consisted of a series of three huge ink plastic glass domes built on pilings out over the gray, foamy ocean. Several off-white gulls came circling down through the hard rain to settle atop the nearest dome. I, I, what is this, the birds? I, what, what kind of a, a setting is he trying to, you know, uh, put forth here? All right, let's, let's read the back. That's gotta be more interesting, right? Known to millions of Star Trek's Captain Kirk, actor, director, and best-selling author William Shatner returns to the stunning future world he created in Tech War. Ex-cop Jake Cardigan is back. Okay, great. 
Yeah, that's what we need. Jake Hardigan back. I need to stay gone or something. Anyhow, that's been it for today's Bad Celebrity Poetry. Uh, today's edition, of course, deals with prose, but uh, hopefully I'll get that corrected by actually buying some poetry next time. So anyhow, thanks for watching.